working with credentials in PowerShell. Hi, I'm Don Jones, and you're certainly going to want to run commands from time to time that use an alternate credential, something other than the one that you opened the shell with or that you logged on with. And a lot of PowerShell commands do support the use of alternate credentials, but there are some tricks and caveats around these things, and understanding what they are will help you use them more efficiently. You'll find that the help for a number of different PowerShell commands includes a minus credential parameter. Here's the one for enter PS session. The value type given for that is just a PS credential or PowerShell credential. So what is that? Now, typically, you're simply going to provide a username, and that can be a domain backslash username as well. PowerShell will graphically prompt you for the password. And if you provide the right one, then you'll be in. So I've now connected to that computer using enter PS session using a credential that isn't necessarily the same one I logged on as or the same as the one I used to run my local copy of PowerShell. Now, some folks will say, you know, this whole business of having to constantly answer pop-ups for passwords is kind of a pain in the neck. And I agree completely. So here's an alternative. Use a variable, uh, and let's see, I'm gonna call this company admin. That way the variable name kind of tells me whose credential is in there. And I'm gonna run get credential. Um, you can provide a couple of parameters with this, but if you just hit enter, it'll ask you for the administrator's username. Well, for whatever username you're providing, I'm gonna give it the administrator, I'll give it the password. And if we look at that variable, you can see that the username is in clear text, but the password is actually stored as a secure string. There's not really an easy way to get that password out of there, and that's on purpose. The way you would use this, let's use enter PS session as an example again, is just to give it that variable name. Now I'm not prompted, so I get to reuse that variable over and over and over. Now, of course, when I close the shell, that variable is going to go away. So if it's a credential that I'm, I'm frequently going to use, I might add this command to my PowerShell profile script so that it runs every time I open a new shell. Thus, every new shell has my dollar sign company admin variable available to me with my credential and password all wrapped up nice and neat in there. Now, the other thing some folks will ask is, well, is there a way to avoid the prompt completely? Is there a way to somehow put the password right on the command line? And the answer from a very short and practical perspective is no. And that's on purpose. And that's because these, these scripts are all clear text. You don't wanna put your domain admin credentials in clear text. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're gonna show the file to. So practically speaking, no, there's not. Let me give you a couple of tips though. If that's something you want to do, and I'll, I find that the, the circumstances, people will say, I want to write a script that does something, and I want to give it to my help desk. Now, my help desk doesn't actually have permission to do that something. So I want to hard code in the admin credentials, but I don't want the help desk to see it, of course. Well, that's tough to do with a plain script, but there's a couple of products you can look at. I'm just going to put a little comment in here. Take a look at Primal Script, which is a script editor, commercial one, or Power GUI, which is a non-commercial script editor. Both of those have a packaging or compilation capability. It's not true code compilation. What they do is they take your script and wrap it in uh, an encrypted executable. You still need PowerShell installed in order to run that, but what they'll also let you do is apply a set of alternate credentials. So they encrypt those. So when you run the executable, they actually launch PowerShell under that set of alternate credentials and then run your script. So that's probably a better way of achieving that task of wanting to have a credential so that someone can run a script that does something they don't have permission to do. But you also don't want to make the credentials exposed to people. You don't want to make public. Uh, it's probably a better way to do that than trying to hard code them along the credential parameter which doesn't really provide a way to pass in a password like that. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.